Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, the plan is simple. I do expect I will be doing a lot of clue scrolls, but on top of that, the goals for this episode are to finally get ourselves the rapier. Rapier is single-handedly going to be the most important item for us because it will allow us to do literally most of the bosses that we still haven't fully completed in leagues and I'm just really looking forward to finally obtaining that maximum melee setup. With that being said, I really hope you guys will enjoy today's episode and I guess let's jump right into it. Alright, you may be wondering what we're gonna be doing right now and the answer is simple. We're gonna be killing Briofta until we get the essence and on top of that we're also gonna be doing beginner clue scrolls. I have around 10 of these in the bank and this should be very very easy and very very fast. We are starting on KC number 19 and I'll be doing every single beginner clue scroll because I will be working on completing every single collection log item that I can get from beginner clue scrolls because that's basically easy points so we're just gonna do this as fast as we can. Alright well uh, I have an update. I have been here for an entire day just killing Mosh Giants and also killing Briopta every time I would get a key. Our clue scroll counter is up to 35 beginners right now. Eventually I want to complete entire collection log of beginners. It could take me 100, it could take me 200 clues, who knows, maybe even 300. Uh, but this should be the kill count number 40. I think I started at around 17 maybe, something like that. And look at this. We have killed over 2300 Mosh Giants, 42 Briovtas. I guess two of them are from main game I would assume. Uh, but yeah, basically I am being hard railed in the backside at the moment, but I'm gonna keep going until I get the essence. It's only gonna give me 50 points, but all these clue scrolls are actually gonna give me a lot more points, so all in all, it will be worth it. I was honestly bound to miss this one. There is 200 task completions and I've obviously been just taking Mosh Giants the entire day today. Please. Yes! <laughs> Finally, oh my god, I spent an entire day like 15 hours doing this This thing and we are done and we even have like four extra mossy keys that I'm not gonna do We're gonna finish this clue scroll if we can and then we're gonna open all of these beginners I'm so happy and obviously we're gonna attach this to the staff it is finally over, I can go sleep in peace, I am so happy, let's go. Alright, here it is, 60 beginner caskets, but also... Ooh, that's a cool animation, and if I wield it, that should be just a f oh, 100 point task, very nice. But most importantly, I should be getting a ton more points just opening these beginner caskets. We're starting on 52k. And let's see where it gets us. Alright, I might be getting a lot of junk, but I'm just gonna be dropping it, so here we go. Uh, it is fair to say that there is three times the drop rate of rare drops, such as frog slippers, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but there's another monk robe. So, so far only one new one. I don't know about this one. We're just gonna check the log at the end. We got a mole slippers, those are kinda cute. And that is the first task completion, feel 5, beginner clue scroll collection logs. That's 50 points right there, that is very nice. And we got another one, Demon Feet, that's also unique as far as I know. Two in this one, and that's another 50 points, just like so. Ten unique clue scrolls from beginners, very solid. I, that didn't make any sense, but yeah. Um, I don't know what to do with my space of the inventory right now, so I'll probably just chuck them in the bank. Alright, I organized my bank a little bit, just so I can do these openings a little bit better. There's another unique there. First Sandwich Lady Top, solid. We keep opening, nothing there, keep opening. It's crazy to think that this is basically my entire day, just being opened in a couple of minutes. Ooh, Amulet of Defense T, which I think if I wear is another point. Look, that's what I'm talking about. Look, this gave me 100 points. Just equipping this gave me another 50 before I got like 100 combined. So that's 250 points on top of just, you know, everything else. Very, very nice. We keep going. I kind of accidentally skipped two. There is Demon Feet. And there is another Monk T, I already have that. Another flunk, Frog Slippers, we've seen those before. We keep opening, and there's Monk Robe, and there's this one, which I think I already have as well. Not a lot of items missing anymore. If I could get just one more from this 10, that would be perfect. Let's see. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 more, please. 1, 
Nope. All right. Uh, good opening, I'd say. Very, very nice. 77 beginner clue scrolls completed. And I'll hopefully be finishing this when I'm going for the heal giant club, which I don't want to do right now. I'll probably do that after I receive my rapier. But this was like a nice thing I decided to do today. And uh, I regret it maybe a little bit. But now that we got all these points, I am quite happy. I guess I never showed this, but I guess it's kind of worth it to do so. So we made approximately 2 mil, some of the clue scrolls weren't recorded from all the openings, but most importantly we've killed over 60 Brioftas and we've also killed 2676 Moss Giants. If I were to pick up loot it would be approximately 2 million in profits there. A lot of seeds though, if I, if I needed them, I don't however, but... Interesting information nonetheless. I think I finally found the use for all my rune bars and I'm gonna be making scimitars. I just figured out I can put all of the loot into my house. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but also I'm completely clueless as to what I want to do right now. So I'll probably just continue on with easies from hill giants. Uh, but I'm most likely not going to complete it unless I get really lucky. Well, that was simple. The starting KC is going to be... Three and let's see how long it takes us to get the hill giant club and obviously along the way we will be completing all the beginners once again. I was invited to do some TOB with the boys so we're just gonna do this 12 beginner clue scroll opening and let's see if we can get something that we can call a unique and I think this cape might be it. And the shoulder parrot. Oh wait, this is actually really really good. So I might be extremely close to completing the collection log now. We're gonna take a look at it in a second, but I think that was really good. I think that was very, very solid. Let's see, boom, clue scrolls, beginners, 12 out of 16. So we did end up getting the shoulder parrot, which was new, and the cape. So we're missing bare feet, couple of sandwich lady stuff, and a black pickaxe. All right, I'm doing some TOB with the boys, and we are obviously after the rapier. That's like the only thing that we want. First one on the list, MVP, but no purple. And we're starting on KC number 114. I'm not quite sure how long I'll stay here for, but the first loot is quite okay. Anyways, back to positive mindsets. Let's see if we can get a purple this one, maybe, please. I can never tell, but... <gasps> it is! This could be it. If this is the rapier, we are legit out of here. Just don't give me another defender, I beg you, please. I hate myself. This is so good, but so bad. Where is my chest plate? My chest plate, dude. I don't have it. Oh no. This is tragedy. This is tragedy. I knew this would happen. I don't have the chest plate. For the people on the YouTube that are unaware, this is what my loot is looking like from 117. And it appears that we could have a full Justicar available right now. But unfortunately, due to unfortunate circumstances, we left our chest guard in the chest. So we never picked it up. And now I have everything else but the chest plate. So that's absolutely a little bit sad. But we'll take it. It's a unique. We can This is really good. But I'm a bit angry at myself, man. Oh, dude. We have it in the inventory. We can leave the theater. We're good to go. My dear God, dude. That could have been full Justicar, 500 points. But it is what it is. So at this point, since we are very close to having the full log completed when it comes to beginner clue scrolls, I'm just gonna do 10 at a time because after I have these 16 out of 16, there is no reason for me to keep doing these and they actually take quite a bit of time to do. So let's just go ahead and open and see if we can get any... Oh, that's the first one. That's really good. The first one that I needed and there's another one. Okay. And I think now it's only the sandwich lady outfit and the black pickaxe that we're missing. If we look at this, that is correct. So three left... Not bad at all, we're gonna keep going with those in the future. Now back to TOB. Alright, well, I know for a fact the purple can't be mine this one. I died twice, so let's hope either a shoddy or... Mr. Lemon Lime get a purple here. Yep. Yeah. Did the one time where I do shit, there is a purple. Good luck, shoddy. Good luck, buddy. Justicar chest guard. Sick. Nice. Grats, mate. Oh, that's what I need as well. It's rough, man. The one time. I completely fuck up everything. 
Oh, me oh my. Sniped as well. I found a new activity to do when I'm just AFKing or not really focusing on the game and that is a giant mole. I eventually have to kill 750 of it and I kind of just pray piety, pot up and just AFK it pretty much. Uh, I got 106 mole claws in the process and I do believe that should be the task completed. Right after I trade in the mole parts, there it is, 100 easy points right there that's gonna be a lot of different seeds that we are never gonna need because, well, our farming level is gonna be 25 mil very very soon if I just do my trees. Well, this was bound to happen, I just did 250 giant moles, had no idea this task was coming up because I play, when I do mole, I play on full screen and I am completely zoomed out, so I just have a couple of clicks I gotta do, right? To reach the mole. I can't really display it on a fixed screen, but the idea is simple, right? You zoom, zoom out as much as you can, you pray piety all the way, and you just click whatever the mole is, and that's how I play. And I didn't even know that KC was 250. But yeah, we're going for 750. I don't know if I want to do all of it in one go, but it's a lot of points, a lot of very easy points, and a lot of fairly AFK points as well, so I'll be definitely going for it. Alright, so the idea is fairly simple. We are mining gold ores over here in Bremhaven, and I should be getting a soul little bit of smithing XP alongside with mining XP and I'll probably do this till 25 million experience and you may be wondering the reason why I'm here well I'm gonna be needing a lot of gold bars in order to utilize all of my different uncut gems I can craft those fairly easily until 25 million crafting because I have a ton of diamonds a ton of rubies that I won't be using into bolts simply because I don't really have the use for bolts not that many at least. Um, so as you can see, the XP per hour is lovely. Uh, this might go even more up right now. So we'll, we'll, we'll just pay attention and see where it sta stabilizes at. I'm expecting a little bit over a mil smithing an hour and well over a mil mining XP an hour. Alright, and here it is, 25 million mining XP, we ended up mining approximately 1.1k gold bars that we will eventually use for our crafting training, um, probably not gonna do a whole lot of that, but happy that this one is now over and I have so many 25 plus million skills right now, it's looking very very good, but for now... I think returning to mall or TOB is what I am going to do. Still chilling over here at mall and there it is, 500 mall completions or defeated, whatever. Um, another task is to kill 750, I'm not sure if I want to do all of it in one go, but we might as well give it a shot, right? Uh, that is a very, very simple boss, but it is a little bit time consuming, a little bit... Uh, brain afk I, I honestly don't know what i'm saying but basically 500 moles have been defeated and we gotta do 250 more at some point it is that time of the day again when i update you on our alt account and as you can see we now can unlock a new relic if we take a look so far we have endless harvest eternal jeweler fluid strikes treasure seeker and now we can unlock the next big one which is going to be botanist infernal gathering Ah, uh, have it on the main, not really interested. Equilibrium, don't really care about extra XP on the account, but Botanist is going to be amazing because all I need is one dose of a pot and I'll have permanently boosted stats. That's gonna be so huge for this account and I cannot wait to use this alongside that farming cycles are extremely fast, so this is going to be really, really fun. We're gonna select it, confirm it, beautiful animation, and now we are 7,000 points away from the next and last relic, which is most likely going to be draining strikes because this account is going to be turbo AFK. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. I have to do a bunch more tasks though, and I'm not gonna bore you guys with it. Well, would you look at that? 750 moles have been defeated. The recording was not caught on camera because I was laying back, reclined, gaming, relaxing, but it is what it is. Anyways, here is the loot from 626. I'm not sure why over 100 kills were not recorded, but... Oh, that's because I've done some of them on my phone, actually. Never mind, I'm just a bit of a papeg. But 14.5 million GP was made in approximately 600 kills. But the most important thing what I can do from this is I can actually exchange all of these skins and all of these claws and get a lot of... Bird nest out of it. Now, I don't need bird's nest for 
farming XP or anything, but what I can do out of them is create a lot of brews, and the brews are gonna be handy when we go for 20 infernal capes, which is also one of the tasks. So we're gonna go and exchange this right now, very happy that this boss is now fully completed, a little bit unfortunate that we did not get a pet though. Alright, let's see how many nests we end up getting by extracting, extracting, and extracting. Uh, if I type nest, okay. Okay, 1.2k birds nests, two, and I guess 600 of these ones. These ones I don't think I got from here, so that is a lot actually, what the hell. So basically, if I were to crush all of these nests, I have 2000 brews waiting to be made in my bank. I think this might be the last farm run we are doing on our account. We are currently on 23 million experience. This is all grown. My magic trees are all grown. Unless my trees died, I should be able to reach 25 million farming XP, which is very nice. Yep, all my trees were grown. Uh, that means that after I check this tree, there it is, 25 million farming XP as well on the account, and now my whole right portion over here is basically maxed out completely XP-wise, everything aside from smithing, but when I will be going for a dragon full helm and a dragon visage from mithril dragons, I will most likely bank a lot of smithing XP there, and if I don't, I can always mine a little bit more to finish this one off, but look at this, 25 million all of these, fletching is very simple, I have all the supplies in my bank right now to finish it off, I will probably be able to get 25 mil in every single skill, which is really impressive. 830 million total experience already. Very nice. I don't even have a reason to plant anymore, but you know what? Let's just plant one more for the good luck, but I don't think I'll finish off the farm run. I have zero reasons to go post 25 mil because I can no longer get any more points from farming. We got everything we could ever ask for. I think it's time for some clue scrolls. So this is the method I am currently using in order to get hard clue scrolls and elite clue scrolls. I'm defeating these little smoke devils, I tag all of them, and then I kill the boss. I mean, the little um, superior version when they spawn it, it always drops hearts, it always drops elites, and it's much more AFK compared to, let's say, abyssal demons, as you can see here. Uh, we get a heart, we get elite, and on top of that, we get all these occult necklaces that I can alk for 27k. Well, that I think would be the third eternal gem of the account. Also, I've only been able to complete one elite clue scroll so far, so it definitely takes a while to get these completions in. But I guess as soon as I'm done with my AFK session, we're gonna open all of this at the same time. There it is, finally got myself a dust battle staff, which was the last thing we needed to have every single drop from superior. So that is very, very nice. Ended up getting quite a lot of more occult set that I decided to stop recording, because... Yeah, I mean, after the fifth one, it's not really that exciting anymore, but this is the first dust battle staff, and I have like eight missed battle staffs, so very happy we got that. Nice. All right, the AFK session is done. If you're wondering why I'm naked, well, the monks wanted me to not have any armor on me, so there we are. Okay, so we're gonna start off with three hearts and then two elites. Let's see if we can get something cool. We're looking for Master Scrollbook the most, but also any type of teleports or any unique sets like this. This is a really good three uniques in that hard clue and a page as well. Not bad. And now let's see for the elite. We get a Master Clue. Let's see if we can complete that. Fire Cape and Tok Xil Ul. I should be able to maybe do that. All right. Very nice. Let's try and attempt this Master. The chances of me actually being able to complete this, slim to none. Caldegram is the place we cannot access, so we still have one more elite to open. Can I get a master scroll book? Let's see it. Okay, we get a giant boot, we get a bucket helm, we get field 3 elite clue scrolls, but no master. Oh, gain 10 unique clues from elites, 100 points there as well. The points are just coming in, these clue scrolls are so good. But like, what is this? <laughs> okay, the game is trying to tell me something. How can I get these items? These two out of all the items in one I quit. And here it is, receive 60 Agility Arena tickets without failing once. And the reason I went for this one was because it's very easy to train your fletching as you do this. So I was pretty much able to gain approximately 4 million fletching XP in the process, in that hour I'd say. 
and I might stay here all the way until 25 because eventually I do need to get 1000 Agility Arena tickets for extra 500 points. Now this one was... Now this one was actually 250 point task, which is very impressive, took me exactly an hour to complete. Very happy that this one is done, and it also moves us over 54,000 total points. Very nice. I decided I will be going for 100 Agility Arena tickets at the time. In total I need 10,000 of these for 500 points, but for now I'm satisfied with my... With my little session, ended up getting almost to 19 million fletching XP, and if I trade Pirate Jackie the Fruit, I'm actually able to buy more experience in agility. So there we go, that was 920,000 agility XP in 1 hour and 40 minutes that it takes to get 100 tickets. Alright, here we go, can this be the purple finally? Is it- <gasps> It is! It is a purple, oh my god. Please, for- Yo, I beg, can this please be a rapier or a chest plate and can this please not be a defender? During this raid my whip broke, I kicked the boss a few times. If this is rapier, I'm free. I no longer need to come here. Let's see. It's another Sangunesti stuff. Right, that's a bummer. I already have that. That is unfortunate. That is so rare as well. Ay ay ay. How much is, how much is this arc for? Hey, 3 million Alk, we'll take it. It is a little bit hard to swallow, but yeah, we're gonna keep going and hopefully get a rapier. I was once again AFKing some smoke devils and I realized I'm over 100 million hit points XP, over 100 million strength XP, and on top of that I got a couple extra clue scrolls that we're gonna open and then I'm gonna do some TOB. Now for hard clues, I only need to get to 30 out of 158 items, that's gonna be a task. And for elites, I gotta get to 20 out of 98. So let's just start with hearts here uh, and hope for as many uniques as possible. That's 2, 3, 4, and what is this? Another one? So we're probably fairly close, let's see. No. Never mind, we're still at 23 out of 158, but we also got an elite and... Ooh, okay, dragon legs or skirt ornament kit with Lumberyard teleport. And this is the teleport that is extremely important if I ever want to go for 25 mil runecrafting XP. Because if I get a master scroll book, these basically teleport me right to the earth altar. So that would be very, very nice. Uh, and this ornament kit looks quite nice as well. Let's try to put it on some dragon... I don't have them. Never mind, so it's going just here. Kill count 130. I've been up all night trying to fix my sleeping pattern and here is a purple. If I can just get a rapier here or a chest plate or a scythe, I would be so happy. Please, game, give me luck. No way did I get another staff. Oh, back-to-back -back staffs, like few raids in between. That's, I think, as rare as a rapier, right? That's just unlucky at this point. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's... Ah, that's, that's bad. That's pretty bad. I mean, it's 3 mil alk, but it's definitely rough. Are you kidding me? Dude, they both died twice. And he gets a purple. It's okay, it's legs. I don't need those. It's all good. Oh my. Oh my god. Back to back. Nice. Oh, please. Please, 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 please. Chest plate or rapier or scythe. I beg. No defender hilt, please. Come on. Ah, oh, wrong Justiciar piece. Damn, that's rough. It's a good Alk, 2.7 mil, but not the item we need. I really want to go to sleep, but I guess I can do one more. Third time's the charm, right? Come on, any purples? Nice. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, wait, Shotty, Shotty, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Legs and milliwebs. Good luck, dude. This is it. I believe. Fuck! I'm so pissed! Till today. <laughs> I didn't- I almost just left without even opening mine, man. Okay, it's mine, let's go! Dude, 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 this could be it. This could be it. Oh my god, this- Just rapier, body, or scythe. Please. Yes! Yes, I got it! Oh, I'm so happy. 137 KC, I'm taking it out, dude! I can do so much right now. 
Oh my god. Yes. 250 points, but most importantly, we finally got it. So, you may be wondering, why is this item so crucial on the Trailblazer League? Well, let me explain. Firstly, Abyssal Tentinker requires you to sacrifice whips every 10,000 hits. And I've probably went through 6 or 7 whips already just using the Abyssal Tentacle. It's very annoying and it's just a tedious process. Secondly, Rapier is by far the best weapon in the game for me. And the reason for that is I can camp something like Mithril Dragons in order to get a DFS or a Dragon Full Helm and that's 750 points that I can get from just there. On top of that, I can use this to complete 750 Sires, which is a lot of points. I can use this to return to the God Wars and complete it fully. So we're talking Bandos, get a Hild there, Zami, get a Stav there which is what I'm missing still and then I would also go back to Arma and get all the drops there but basically this item right here this little freaking pointy rapier is why I've done 137 TOB that is all I wanted however I'll keep doing TOB until I get chest plate as well because having full Justicar with a rapier would be absolutely insane but I'm so relieved right now I'm so damn happy oh man it is done very very happy and i'm so excited for the future now that this is done all right well the end of the video is here unfortunate quite a long one actually almost what 26 minutes that's a that's a solid length for a good old runescape video i do hope you guys did enjoy you know what if you made it this far into the video there is a chance you would enjoy my other trailblazer videos as well so because of that i am putting the playlist in the description you can watch it from the beginning you know binge watch it get some popcorn have some fun if not if you've already seen all of them that's totally fine and i'll be back with another video very very soon for you that being said stay safe and i'll see you soon with i guess another episode have a good one everyone bye bye